Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I partnered up with Arc Captain to reveal their best selling cutting tool, the Cut 50, which is a plasma cutter. And at the end of the video, we'll be giving away one of these units to a lucky subscriber. Stay tuned to find out the details. I want to make sure everyone is clear. I will never reach out to anyone asking for personal information. If you get a message claiming to be from me, it's not me. Please do not share any personal details with them. Here's how the contest will work. I'll announce the winner on my YouTube Shorts and Instagram account. It's your responsibility to reach out to me through Instagram if you're selected. All the contest details will be in the description box, so please be sure to read through everything carefully. Out of the box, it comes with a 10-foot ground clamp, a 10-foot air hose, a shoulder strap, two hose clamps, an extra set of consumables, the PT31 cutting torch, which is 16 feet, a 110 power adapter, a 220 volt plug, a set of stickers, the user manual, and the Arc Captain Cut 50. The machine is much smaller than it looks on camera, weighing in at 10 pounds. Here is the air regulator and water separator. The control knob is on top and the pressure gauge is on the side. Setting up air to the machine is very simple. I'll only need about 5 inches of air hose line provided. I'll connect it to the regulator with a hose clamp. Then I'll connect it to these fittings that I've put together, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Now I can connect my air tool fitting. Connecting the cables is very straightforward and can only connect in one way. It does come with the plastic housing that makes it easy to secure the cutting torch. It slides over top of the fitting and you can tighten it by hand. The control signal to the gas is a two prong connection with a threaded collar. The ground slides in and twists tight. I'll plug it into the 110 volt to power it on. The dial on the machine adjusts the amperage, which is capped out at 35 amps when operating on 110 volts and 50 amps at 220 volts. Currently, the machine is set to 2T mode. In this mode, you need to press and hold the trigger to keep the tip active. To switch to 4T mode, press the button on the left. In this mode, you only need to press the trigger once to start, and it will continue running until the trigger is pressed again to stop. The button on the right allows you to adjust the post gas flow time between 5 and 15 seconds. The post gas helps cool down the consumables after cutting. D. I'm going to be testing it out on this rebar which is about an eighth inch thick. So I have it set to 20 amps. And my gas should be at 30 psi. So right now it's reading a little above but when I hit the trigger it's at exactly 30. So that's where you want it. And uh, let's see what it can do. I want to point out that this is my first time using a plasma cutter so I'm learning as I go. That was really simple and fun to use. Let's see if I can do some writing. I've always wanted to try. Very simple and easy to cut through this thin stuff. Let's move on to 220 volts. For 
for the half inch, I believe it's 50 amps according to the chart and 50 PSI. So let's get that set and we'll test it out. I'm gonna go a bit above, hit the trigger, see where it brings me. Yep, seems about right. So I'm gonna push it down, lock it into place and get my piece ready to cut. Nice clean cut. Here's my first attempt to cut the 3 quarter inch steel. I messed this one up. I believe I was moving across the plate too quickly and I didn't cut all the way through. Then it was just downhill from there. Use this clip as a how not to do it. So I messed up cutting the 3 quarter inch, so I'm going to change out the tip as you can see. It's kind of melted it here, the tip's all dirty. It's very easy to change out. back in action. There you go guys, cut through 3 quarter inch steel. Now that you know how to use the cut 50, here's how to enter the contest. Write in the comments, Merry Christmas, I want the Art Captain cut 50. This comment will be your entry. The winner will be chosen from the comment section. Here is the final results. This is the half inch and the 3 quarter inch. If you like this video, check out my YouTube channel where you can find all sorts of auto body videos just like this. And don't forget to subscribe.